pieces that we got with that that uh, hookah, the um, little metal piece is falling out and is not staying in. Brutal. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta replace that. Um, and I've only got the one hose, the red hose. And I mean, one is not enough for three people, especially when there's two uh, there's two valves for hoses or ports or holes or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I'm half awake still. Yeah. <laughs> so, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. Uh, I'm Luke. And I'm Ron. And today, the topic of discussion is less inane bullshit and more kind of content that we consume from other creators. You know, we're sort of content creators. We create content. We do a thing. Yeah, we verbally we... shit post on the internet. <laughs> so... <laughs> We're part of the group of content creators. Right, yeah, and we, we get like 100 or so listeners a week. Not, yeah. Not ta- well, a month, I should say. I'm sorry. I wish oh, we were doing oh, 100 a week. Oh. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll get yeah. there eventually. I mean, it, it's working its way that way. Just trending up, maybe? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> we actually went down for December. It's, um, it's a new year. It's because nobody busy. gives a fuck during Christmas time. Yeah, no, it's Christmas time, like... What are you are you gonna spend your time sitting there listening to us talk about dumb shit on the internet or No, you're gonna spend it doing a bunch of oblig- obligatory bullshit that you don't want actually yeah, wanna you know, be doing. Like putting yourself like in spending the, time with family. Yeah. Or like, putting yourself into bankruptcy to exactly. buy everybody a presents. Which I just stopped doing. I don't know yeah. about you guys, but I stopped buying presents for people. It's like no, I'm not, you know. I, I don't remember what celebrity it was, but one of the celebrities tweeted like, "Don't don't put yourself into debt to buy people gifts." You know, like yeah. it's dumb. Yeah. So I got. I but got then, though, you know, you don't care and you don't I love that really person if you don't shit. spend money on them. Man. It's like, trust me, I love you. I just don't want to buy you shit. I I shouldn't I have need to fucking pay my bills. Yeah, like like you wanna you wanna you wanna show me that you love me. Why don't you pay my fucking rent and then I'll buy you whatever stupid gift you want because now I'll have rent money that I don't have to spend on rent. How about that? Dude, gifts have completely devolved. Like, in my experience anyways, like, everybody's just buying each other gift cards anyways. There's nothing thoughtful. Right? Like, no, no thought put into any gift that I've gotten or I've seen anyone get this year. It's all just gift cards to Burger King. Year, it's either money... Or you just flat out get money, or here's a gift card to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll fucking take a gift card to, like, Wendy's. Here's a $15 gift card to Wendy's or Burger King. Yeah, yeah have some Junior Bacons or, like, a couple Whoppers or something. There you go. I had a friend buy me a game off my wish list this year, which, like, surprised the hell out of me. And that was awesome. And I was right. like, oh. Now, and then I felt like shit. I was like, I wasn't going to get anybody anything this year. Uh, Steam games. <laughs> I'm, still <laughs> not, I'm still not getting anybody anything. I, I, I have one person that I planned on buying gifts for, and uh, it's my dad, and he already knows that I'm not going to be able to actually buy it till about January or February, so either later this month or next month. And he's the only person I wanted, I was going to buy anything for, and that's that's not changing. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, everyone who listens who is a friend or family member, but you're not getting shit from me. Yes, if you exactly. haven't realized it, it's been like a week and a half since Christmas, and I yeah. haven't gotten you anything. Like, God, so. I, I struggle to get by, and I have a three-year-old whose birthday <clears throat> is in December. I mean, so at least I'm, he's I'm young s- enough that you can buy the bargain toys. He's it, man. Yeah. I mean, sorry, everybody else. Yeah, no, like. And that, you know, something like that I think should be perfectly acceptable. Mm -hmm. And if you you don't want to accept that, I I don't need you in my life if you can't understand (laughs) that the $1,800 a month I get from working only goes so far. Yeah. And I got to pay rent. I got to pay the bills. I got to eat food. (laughs) And all of that can add up pretty quickly, especially if you're not paying attention. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm I'm sorry. You're not getting anything. (laughs) I, I actually no, I'm not sorry you're not getting anything because I'm under no obligation to buy you jack shit. Yeah, you want to you know you want to sit there and get all bitchy. <laughs> you missed thought, thirty we birthdays. Talked about how happy we all are that the fucking holidays and Thanksgiving oh God, and yeah. New Year's over. All that bullshit is over. Apparently, we're not happy. <laughs> God, I'm so happy. I fucking hate it all now. It's just miserable. 
especially it was, it was so especially miserable this year. It. People just turn into classless idiot animals. Yeah, especially yeah. especially working the retail jobs that like, we do. They, and it's all a fucking joke, anyways. Like I and Halloween, I really I, Halloween is everything. <laughs> Halloween is life. But I didn't even like Halloween but like anymore. Thanksgiving man. ruined it. Well, it's always Halloween in my my house, my apartment. But <laughs> yeah, no, Ron's a spooky kid. He so. walks in and he Jack Skellington has, pops like, out. Thanksgiving. Let's just pre- let's you know let's fucking let's let's go buy shit right afterwards. Right after we we pretend to be thankful about things and our loved yeah, ones, let's, let's be go thankful act and like go idiots, buy shit like crazy animals, and fucking then you get to Christmas and we just talked about what Christmas is. Yeah, fucking, no. oh yeah, no, it's it's over. No, it's not over. You no. have fucking New Year's. It's just an excuse to make an ass out of yourself and drink and spend money. Yeah, and what'd you do on New Year's? What'd you do on New Year's? You know what I did on New Year's? I put my son to bed at ten thirty, <laughs> and then I went to sleep. <laughs> I woke That's what up. I did on New Year's. I, I woke see. up at 11.45, went, oh, it's almost New Year's. Poured myself a drink, drank it in bed, and went back to sleep. Um, and then played video see. games. On New Year's, I was putting out register tills. Yeah. That, that's what I was doing. I put my son to bed. He he woke up, as he's you know, prone to do now. He'd wake up at like midnight and come stumbling into my room. Like like a drunk man with a sippy cup in his <laughs> mouth and pulling his blanket into my room and God, I, three year olds are just teeny yeah. drunk people. Oh yeah, no easy. toddler toddlers are just are just tiny drunk people. <laughs> that's all they are, man. So that's what I did. There's a lot of dad stuff. On <laughs> okay, here. all right. So we got we got some things we want to talk about. Um, you know, content that we consume. Yeah, and maybe you guys, maybe you guys have heard of them. Maybe you haven't. Go check them out. Favorite podcasts, YouTube channels, right? Yeah, stuff, stuff like that. Um, stuff that I hell, I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching some of it for a long, yeah, long time. Um, right. Well, interestingly enough, despite I mean, I've been on the internet, fuck, fuck, fifteen years now, half of my life, yeah, and it's only within the last year or so that I've actually started to watch things, and I. I don't know how I've gotten by that long without just watching things. Um, but a lot of what I watch are tech-oriented channels. So I want to give a shout-out to Random Gaming in HD. Guy sits there and just he does videos on older PC hardware. And I can't keep up today. And all of my videos, all of my, all my channels are going to be tech-related. Because that's, you know, that's what I am. You guys know if you have an issue, you come to me. So That is true. It's like, yeah. Joe, what it do? Why it do this? Well, Why be- it do not what do thing? Well, because you did this. Yeah. Is, seriously, that's usually around 80% of my answers. Because ID you 10, did this. <laughs> I need 10 to hear. Or because this happened. Um, but, yeah, it's... So he he takes like older gaming hardware. He'll he'll buy like old used video cards and processors and throw them in, throw them in a machine and benchmark them basically but not with like benchmark tests like a lot of tech sites do like he just plays the games and it's really interesting like i'm not a budget gamer and that's what his channel is is geared towards with oh, budget games but like it, it's interesting to me no matter how no matter what's going on like can the top of the line video card from 2009 keep up today and the answer is no yeah but it's always so interesting to like see this kind of thing because a lot of the stuff can now be had for five, ten bucks. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, you know, if you if you got an extra hundred bucks lying around, you can build a gaming PC to play Super Nintendo games. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever. Right. You know, you it's can just do that. Silly shit. If you want to go that far, you want to go that route. It's an option, and that's basically what his entire channel is. Is underground. He's just a, and he he himself is the good guy. So he he's a lot. Of, he's actually entertaining to pay attention to. Sounds pretty interesting. So I I watch him. Um, anytime he puts a video out, I'll sit down and watch it. So right oh, yeah. I pretty much uh, I, lately what I've been getting into is just uh, custom collectibles, like uh, cosplay Chris and Odin. There's this channel called All Me A W E M E. Yeah, I used to uh, sub to them. And they have like a, a prop shop and mm-hmm. stuff. And mm-hmm. one of the creators, Odin went off and he started his own youtube channel like custom collectibles like you could buy like i just bought a kyla 31 inch kylo ren figure from toys r us (laughs) on sale for like 14 bucks and you basically take that shit figure and you you take it apart 
and change the position of of the arms and stuff and, and right. soup it up, make it look like like a three four hundred dollar whatever yeah. expensive collectible Maybe showroom clean collectible. Up a bit. Yeah, yeah. And they basically they do that, and it's just like a walkthrough of how to do that. It's really fucking, it's really interesting, and it's a new fun hobby that I've been doing, been right, getting into. Right. I, cool. I did that to a Man of Steel. 31 inch figure and I, I remember Darth that Vader yeah you showed me that I remember yeah, that yeah, I was living here when you did that I took him outside and my bedroom smelled like uh, fumes for like <laughs> a month <laughs> yeah I forgot your your fucking yeah. window was right by the deck I mean it wasn't like a, oh my god what are you doing it was just like oh that's yeah, awesome yeah I'm like all just replacing the cape and with right. sweet material and right and, uh, you know, making the suit look all detailed and then throwing clear coats of spray paint on. That's what almost killed you. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, man. I, I was, I was, it was a it sacrifice. Though. I was, I was willing he looks to make. Awesome. <laughs> and recently, I've, I took that figure and I, uh, it's, uh, the, you just, there's no getting around how shitty the, the face and oh, the neck yeah. and the hands yeah. are. But the suit looked amazing. So I just, I cut the fucking the head and neck off and <laughs> took the hands off. And it's basically like a showroom suit now. It's awesome. Yeah, no, I mean stuff like that. That was one of those things. We we had those uh, those jet the, the the last Jedi dolls of like a uh, Ray and and all of them. It's like they looked so terrible. Oh, they were awful. Like the, the faces are just bad. the faces like like it, like if you took Ray and you made her a Neanderthal, that would be yeah. this doll. Like, like he had a big sloping forehead and giant eyebrows. Geez, um, and it's like the channel is no. like that. You could follow her called Evolution X Studios. Uh, Odin makes and cosplay Chris. Cosplay Chris like is a big deal, huge deal as to why I got into that stuff. Fun hobby. Check it out. That's cool. Yeah, it gives you something to do. Yeah, uh, especially if you're a fucking nerd. Like oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, and you don't have money to buy the expensive figures. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I don't have good. sideshow collectible money. Oh yeah, so I need no. to take that um, that Kylo Ren figure and and make it what I want it to be. Like I, I have um, stuff that could be considered sideshow collectible stuff, but I, I don't pay for it. <laughs> like I don't, I don't pay like full price for it. Like I've got the uh, statue from the Doom Collector's Edition from last year. Oh. Uh, uh, like the hundred one hundred nineteen dollar edition, I I paid forty five dollars for it because I caught it on an Amazon yeah. sale. Yeah, like I I was like I really 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 want that statue. I got the Revenant statue in there, and I was like, yeah, no, that looks that looks cool. Oh, and one hundred twenty bucks was a lot There's to a, swallow, a man. Fucking Bioshock anniversary special edition that came out recently, and the fucking Big Daddy statue that comes with that is amazing. Amazing is looking. it like eight hundred dollars? Yeah, it is. <sighs> no, it's the, not worth it. I, it's no. it's absolutely not worth it, but no. it looks awesome. It's like it's like that uh, Assassin's Creed. It's uh, something bundle. that'd be on my coffee table when oh, I'm fifty, God, though. Yeah. So it's like it, it, yeah, it's like the Assassin's Creed collectible collector's edition that they released. That was eight hundred dollars. That it was just a statue with the game. And it's like that statue better may be made of like pure gold or something. If I'm paying eight hundred fucking dollars for it. Like, when you got Bethesda and id and other companies doing something like that Revenant statue, like, yeah, you, it's got a little switch on the side to put a battery in it and the fan spins and lights up. That part is shitty. But how detailed the statue is completely eclipses that. Like, this is a collectible I could see myself paying $300 for if I had that kind of money. Yeah, the last thing I bought like that was years ago when Dead Space 2 came out. Came right. with a replica plasma cutter. right. That's it. Uh, I got yeah. it. It's not worth it anymore. Those were that's back in like the 360 days when before it got insane. Oh, right. well, and they realized remember... that they can charge five hundred dollars for these special editions. Well, and you remember the Halo Three the helmet, folks? Oh People yeah, went yeah. Nuts I did that. For that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it ended up being too small to fucking put on anything but a cat. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I it's... bought the plasma cutter, and it's like it's like a lighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's like, it's like what is this shit? But I yeah, got, uh, but that's the point I'm getting to. It's like Saints okay. Rose wasn't very good either. Okay, big Doom. purple dildo. Oh, I didn't get that. No, no, no. I got uh, <laughs> oh, I got the fourth. Yeah, it comes what? with a big floppy fucking purple yeah. dildo. Like oh, I think Saints Row God. two did or Saints Row three did. Well, yeah, that would have been three because the three was where they introduced a big floppy dildo as a yeah. weapon because yeah. that's where they started going oh, off yeah. the rails. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> you can fly now. Just but uh, yeah, no, that's the point I'm getting to. Like eight hundred dollars for a fucking statue. Like is that? 
Is that it? Are you it better gonna... be made of fucking gold? Like yeah, you said. Like, like it better be made of ultra premium materials. That each one of those better be handcrafted by an expert sculptor from like Italy who's been doing this for sixty goddamn years. Don't fucking sit there and sell me. No, come on. The detail on that statue in there is amazing, and I only paid forty five dollars for it. And even then, it was only one hundred and twenty. Uh, and you still got the goddamn game with I it. I really wanted the Final <laughs> Fantasy fifteen special edition, but it the shit's just too expensive now. It, it's insane. Like like game development is not that expensive. Like I know it can be, and R and D is millions of dollars. But come on, guys, don't don't. Anyway, that's that's moving. I mean, that's just one way to cut the costs. Yeah. So one of the <clears throat> creators that I've been watching uh, for a while now, I, I and you know I think I'd seen clips of their videos a few years ago and never subscribed to them or anything like that. Recently, I went back and like I think I binged just about their entire catalog. Is Djibouti Dubs? Never heard uh, of them. If you've ever seen a clip from Sixty Spider Man, where it's uh, it's Spider-Man? just dubbed in. They're they're fucking funny. They do stuff like they'll take uh, infomercials. Oh my god! Dub Those over it. Fucking Spider Man memes. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah it, it, that's pretty much. I don't know if they came up with the idea after those Spider Man memes, yeah. but it's just it's fucking crazy. It's I, I don't do. I don't know the entire history of the '60s Spider Man memes, but I, I feel I like them. they they outdate. Oh no no! no I'm not YouTube saying they came up like this. That. I'm oh, no, I'm they, not saying. I, I get what you're saying. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I think it might may, may, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the '60 Spider-Man memes inspired to booty dubs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I forget the context, but I remember we were at like a Chinese restaurant, and there was like a 300 long comment, oh, man, long yes. thread where we were just trolling. Somebody the was shit being out of somebody it was Greg. With Spider-Man it was our memes. buddy Greg. Yeah. He said he he posted something about something, and we turned it into a Spider-Man thread, and. It was Ron, myself, and, and Luke. We sat there for like 40 minutes at this Chinese We don't have restaurant. any fucking better shit to do. Let's and post we were, 400 Spider-Man images. Yeah, we just, we just blew this entire status to shreds with nothing but 60 Spider-Man memes. That's the stupidest <laughs> shit. And by the end of this, man, I had like 140 of these images saved yeah. on my yeah. phone. I just kept... We just we went so hard. It was insane. Legendary. <laughs> it was so dumb. But yeah, they do that. They do... Uh, uh, Guy Fieri's dinners, drive-ins, and dives, or whatever the fuck show it is. Mm. They dub over that. Guy Fieri. And, oh my fucking God, it's funny as <laughs> shit, dude. It's like a combination of um, uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, plus just, uh, like, the funniest kind of dubbing. Mm. They're great. Uh, and That's they cool. actually do Mystery Science Theater style movie stuff, where they watch a movie and talk shit about it as they're watching it. Um, but their channel's funny as fuck. If you oh, ever yeah. if you ever get a chance, check them out. Infomercials are great. They did uh, the that old lady who does the copper pan stuff now, and she <laughs> did uh, she did one for dump cakes for her, like her fucking I, that was her cookbook, and the whole thing is like I'm gonna take a big dump all over your dinner. I'm gonna make this right here real good. <laughs> I'm gonna take a dump. You can even dump dessert. <laughs> Can imagine that channel is just way better when you're stoned. Oh also, yeah, oh which, totally. Which you are. Okay, okay. <laughs> like like eighty percent of YouTube comment content that's meant to be funny is better when you're stoned. Oh yeah, that's like that's like I was looking through my subscribes list and I was like, oh my god, these are all just the stupidest fucking humor I could find. Like I I can't even remember the name of the channel. There's one I subscribed to within the last year that if he, if the kid was an American. There's no way I'd subscribe to it. It wouldn't be funny to me at all. But the fact that he's Australian, so everything he does is an Australian accent, and it's just him being loud and stupid, it's fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that that definitely sounds like something that's funnier when you're stoned. No, I mean, it's funny when I'm not stoned. Just like I said, he's got an Australian accent. And it's just, anything said in an Australian accent is funny. Yeah, my YouTube subscription list is not that exciting. It's your standard like Game Grumps and yeah. Jack Septicai and the custom collectibles, and then it's just a bunch of meathead and bro science stuff because <laughs> I'm a gym rat wannabe. Um, I, like I said, most of my, what I why watch is like is uh, tech related. So I watch a lot of like Linus Tech Tips and uh, yeah. As over the top and clickbaity as he can be, sometimes he's actually a pretty good source of of keeping 
keeping things up to date and I like his reviews of stuff. So I, I watch a lot of uh, Linux tech tips and tech quickie. And uh, I think he has another channel called NCIX tech tips, um, yeah. which he doesn't post nearly as much on, but every now and then something will pop up. That's pretty good. And uh, tech quickie is, is especially a really good one because uh, they try to explain computer concepts. Mm-hmm. Five min- Most of the videos are five minutes or less. So they explain to you, like, what, why is an SSD better than a mechanical hard drive? What makes it work and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, or, like, what is memory addressing and things like that? And, like, this is all stuff that I know, but uh, it's always nice to kind of get a refresher. Yeah. And make sure I, I kind of keep that up to date. Because even though I don't do tech support anymore, it's just something that is always constantly evolving and growing. And so... It can be it can be fun, and his main channel Linux Tech Tips. You know he built a, a media group called Linus Media Group, and so all of his titles and pictures are purposely clickbaity. But I'll watch them, and he can be genuinely entertaining. And other people, he has a guy on there that he works with called Luke. Luke is really cool. He can, and they can all be entertaining. Sometimes though, it's like okay, this is a little weird. Yeah. But overall, I, I enjoy a lot of his content, and like I said, it's pretty much all tech stuff like all computers and computer concepts and other pieces of things he does like laptop reviews phone reviews and stuff like that mm-hmm. so i can i can uh unboxings which are the stupidly popular videos i mean yeah i unbox therapy is a channel where guys sit there and just open shit and yeah. reviews it so and he can actually be entertaining at times too mm. so uh but yeah, I, I watch a lot of a lot of Linus, and I enjoy Linus. I, all the hate he gets, all the shit he gets, I understand where people are coming from. But you know what? I I genuinely find him entertaining, and a lot of his a uh, couple of his other channels, like his Tech Quickie, can be real informative. Why do people not like him? Is it just uh, because of his clickbait? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I mean, that. but he's that's something that he's done on purpose. Yeah. Like it's purposely clickbaity to get you to click on it and at least watch some of the video because he's built a fucking media group out of it. Yeah, yeah. And there's a, there's a lot of people that care, criticize that that still do clickbait titles. Right. Like a lot of creators I even like like Philly D and yeah. different people. Yeah. That's just to be the beat the algorithm. You have to. If you don't Oh yeah, yeah. If you if you want the views that you're looking for, you yeah. you, you, you sometimes just have to bite the bullet and go against something you may believe in and say, All right, well, I guess I gotta be clickbaity. Yeah. Because you don't have a choice. Yeah, because you, you can't get up. anywhere with the titles if you don't. And so, yeah, it's just like, whatever. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, like I said, I get the hate that, that some people want to go throw his way, but that's the only way. Yeah. And he's he's straight up, like, straight up said, oh, yeah, no, I do that on purpose to get views so I can do these things I want to do. And I fucking totally respect that. And to top it all off, he's Canadian. So yeah, I don't know why, but that's always fun. Canadians are cool. Oh yeah, that Australian I was trying to think of is Fair Baron Films. Fair it's Baron Films. Fair Baron Films. It's All fucking right. funny. Baron as in B A R O N. Um. No, B A I R N. Baron. One out of ten for spelling. Yeah. yeah. I, don't I, know. I mean, let me see that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair Baron? Fair Maybe. Baron. Fair Baron? Fair Baron. Fair Baron. I mean, Fair Baron. it's Australian, so I don't know what the fuck it came from. Um, but. podcasts. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I, I listen to Collider. Yeah. Can't recommend Collider enough. I'm just Collider all I'm the Collidered time. out, I noticed. Like, unless Mark Ellis I is haven't there, listened I fucking either. immediately closed the thing, and I guess he's out this week. Yeah, well, he's the last, yesterday, I believe. He was back. So. Oh, was? Oh, well, um, I, I listen to a podcast called things. Going In Raw. <laughs> it's a, I, a wrestling podcast. I don't care for the content. That's the way the wrestlers like it. Dude, I don't care for the content because I stopped paying attention to wrestling like 10, 12 years ago, but I love that title. I got, yeah. I'm got. i big back into wrestling. It's so fun. It's just ridiculous and funny and yeah. awesome. Uh, they're fucking, they're awesome. You know, you got your Jimquisition, yeah. of course. Oh, yeah, no. YouTube-wise, I mean, too. Gotta love. Yeah. I love Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling, is, is, yeah, he's one of my, he's one of the big, big YouTubers I, I pay attention to. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. Anytime something of his is on, like Jim Pressions, I won't always watch, but Jim Quisition, I, I, I've never missed a YouTube episode of yeah. that. 
So my favorite podcast has always been and will always be Tell Them Steve Dave. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're from they're I think uh, Kevin Smith, yeah, uh, Bry Johnson, Walt Flanagan, and and Q from Impractical Jokers. They do a podcast every week and. It's a lot like ours. They just sit and bullshit and talk about whatever, and Bry brings on a, a topic, a news topic that they can just get into and dig into as to why they like hate the state of the world and humanity. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't no see, hope for the human race. Topic. We could do that. I just, I think we hate it enough, enough shit they, already. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, they've been going for years, so oh, we maybe go. that's what we need to pick uh, up. On. And, and they also do a like once a month they do a pod called Overkill. Yeah. Where it's basically like they be, they all bring super spooky topics <laughs> and try to outspook the other one. <laughs> the other topic. Outspook the other topic. It's fucking I love that podcast. Who's the most spooky? <laughs> Mr. Bones is the most spooky. If, I, oh, I can't, if I'm going to recommend one podcast, it's Tell Him Steve Dave 100%. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm lazy or because I've become jaded. I don't think it's because I'm jaded. Um, but ever since we started getting way into doing this weekly, for some reason I've just completely stopped listening to podcasts. You're also, uh, what you do, and we all work in retail, what you do, like, you don't have a lot of time to I, sit there with headphones in your ears. Yeah, like, I, I don't. I just, I'm I have, on I have, my own all night, just... I mean, it most me most sane. nights it's maybe two to two and a half hours, and it's just when I'm working in our cash office. Yeah, it's like, yeah. and even then, with you know everything that goes on outside of it, there are times where I don't even have that because I'll be doing something. You know, maybe I'll be depositing money, and somebody calls me, so I got to go out there and help yep. them. It's like I, I so that's that two two and a half hours can get cut down. I have um, the better part of eight hours. To kill I tell every them to the fuck off when they call me and I'm dumping money. <laughs> I, I I do that too. <laughs> I keep um, listening obviously, to my fucking podcast. Obviously not in those precise words because that would get us in trouble. Like Nathan true. explosion return. Like I'm eating chips. Just fucking, <laughs> I'm chips. handling money. But uh, yeah, but I've been um, trying to treat David. But a lot of it is science and tech uh, oriented. I mean, Kevin Smith. I mean, his uh, Fat Man on Batman yeah. is something I used to listen to. Almost religiously, um, and like he's always he's always good for fun. Him and Mark Bernardin just just yeah. reviewing movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are times where I don't think I can take him at his word of whether or not a movie is good. Like when he said Suicide Squad was great, and I'm like, "You're full of shit, you fat fuck." Because it was terrible. I'm trying to remember if he said it was great or if that's when you I realized, oh, that's yeah. how you tell when Kevin Smith didn't actually like a movie. Yeah, the same thing with BVS where he's like. Well, he's I thought, never gonna you shit know, on it. it was, okay, yeah, he's never going to be completely honest, even with fucking The Last Jedi. Yeah, but, he, um, I feel like he really didn't like a lot about The Last Jedi, but even then he was like, yeah, it was a fun flick, but why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why didn't they do this? That's cool. Fair enough. Moving on. I mean, Jeremy just Johnson's moves the on. same way. Yeah. He gave, jo- it, he gave it a, uh, like a watch, no alcohol required, and then shat all over it. In uh, in, in a later myself. video, okay, like, okay. I mean, the Last Jedi is perfectly watchable. I don't want to talk That's about it. It's per- no, it, 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 is, it is perfectly watchable. Just, it's just not good. It's just not Star Wars. That's what we're. That's what. Even if it wasn't Star Wars, I don't think it would have been good. I think it'd been great. Honestly, a, if you take Star Wars movie. label off the way, Here, man, if you, you take you, Luke Skywalker out of that movie, I love it. I'm cool with it. Yeah. Okay, but you talk. keep it. See, okay, but you keep a it the way it big is. Can of worms right here, man. You keep it the way it is, and you remove the Star Wars label. Honestly, I see it relegated to a shitty, at, at best, a shitty B sci-fi movie. I thought sci-fi it was, made for TV movie. I thought it was awesome. Because, I mean, it was great. The, the, the plot was just all over the place. There were weak characters. Nobody was important. No I, mean, I think a big part of it is you take the Star Wars out of it and you take a lot of that bad plot and shit out of it. To, no, I, I, I honestly... In any case, in I any honestly, case, it doesn't matter. I got a feeling where even if you took the Star Wars out of it, the plot still would have been weak. But yeah, um, Kevin Smith. Yeah, Kevin Smith, been, though. Luke's been trying to turn me on to Hollywood Babylon oh, for so fucking like a year. Close. I finally, well, I thought you I, listened to it no. for like six months of that I year. Finally broke and down. then I'm talking like, ah, oh, man, did you... Da, 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 and Ron's like... No. What? And I'm like, wait, don't you watch? Didn't you listen to Hollywood Babylon too? You t- turned me on to Kevin because they're always live. It's like Kev just yeah. records like like Jay and Silent Bob get old. 
yeah. that podcast, like which he never, which I don't listen to that anymore, one. But that one, I listened to that one for the longest time. So I, I just didn't have room. The thing with, with Tell Him Steve Dave and that for Babylon. The yeah. thing with the the um the, the Jane Silent and Bob get old is like you said they do live shows, so they go on tours when they do that. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't understand how Kevin Smith has time to breathe anymore. No. Uh, he's working on a movie right that now. Man is a he's constantly going on and doing uh, TV shows, directing. He's touring with um, that uh, Jay and Silent Bob get old. He does the Hollywood Babylon, which is almost all, which also goes on tour. He does Fat Man on Batman, which now has a set place at the uh, Scum and Villain Cantina, which like, is fucking awesome. I want to drink there the so bad. Fuck. I don't know money. He's going to be working on two <laughs> the, movies this year. He all you is need so smart. Like he releases a shit little movie like yeah. Yoga Hoses. He knows it's not going to make ten dollars in the box office. So what does he do? He plans out like thirty to fifty dates, and he capitalizes on his name value where he just yeah. puts a Q and A. Well, he front knows of that they're showing. the only people that are going to see it. Yeah, and Kevin Smith fans, so he's yeah. going to go with it. And you know what? We went. We went and saw Yoga Hoses yeah. up in up in Columbus. So, and I mean, the best part of that was listening to Kevin Smith. <laughs> Yeah, that movie was yeah, awful. <laughs> I got a real kick out of when he married. He married two people, and his intro, yeah. his his basically his vows are, uh, were centered around the Green Lantern. Green Lantern Oath. Oath. Yeah, that was, they, they are the Green Lantern Oath. In that Black was Kiss pretty Night. good. Yeah, no, that 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 that, that was a lot <laughs> of fun. Shows, and that's... honestly, it was that show that inspired inspired me to get this whole ball rolling, man. Because yeah. I went and bought the equipment. I told Luke buy us some furniture, man. We're gonna fucking do this. Yeah, well, we kept talking about it, and yeah. every podcast he'd say the same thing, like, "Yeah, yeah man, just go out there." Uh, Mark. Uh, uh, Bernard, Mark Bernard, not Mark Bernard, the one in uh, Hollywood Babylon. Oh, I don't know that. Um, oh, Ralph, Ralph Garman. Garman. Ralph Garman. Bernard. How do you get Mark and Ralph mixed because up? Because Bernard and Garman. Sound you get you get similar. Garman's name wrong every time you say it. Though. I do. <laughs> you change his first name every time. <laughs> next week, next Mark? week, next week <laughs> he's going to be like Kyle. I switch those two up all the time. Yeah. They're the person that's next to Kevin Smith when he's yeah. doing something. Even though I, uh, both those guys are awesome. Yeah, no. But I mean, uh, I, he I, gives I, Kevin so much shit about the whole you can go out and do anything constantly in Hollywood Babylon. He'd be like, no one gives a fuck about you. No <laughs> one gives a fuck about what you're doing. Don't listen to Kevin here. I know. It's fucking great. It's true. Oh, that's, that's so terrible, though. It's funny. Um, but hey, ba- man. No, that's true. Nobody fucking cares. No, that's why we just keep doing whatever that's we're why doing. That's you just fucking, fucking push matter. until uh, you get Throw shit against the wall. Until something sticks. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But uh, more of the stuff I, I used to listen to uh, was um, tech stuff with uh, a guy named John. I can't remember his last name, but uh, it's just like he, he, he does things. Like he did the history of Pixar, which was a lot of fun to listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did uh, – it was like a three-part sh- sh- show too. And it was just like he does he does stuff like that where he'll just pick a topic. And he'll research the ever-loving fuck out of it, and then he will just talk about it. And it's like, hey, that – it, it it can be a lot of fun, um, and then the only other thing I was into is like, and and this is something that everybody, I think everybody would know at some point. You know, there's like Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson and yeah. Chuck Nice, and every now and then Bill Nye is on there, and it's just all right. That's a lot of fun. I uh I I listened to that for a long time, and then we've had conversations about the way different podcasts do their ads. I can't stand the way they do the ads in those podcasts. The I, I don't know why other than Chuck Nice is his, he's oh fine. yeah no Chuck Nice doing the ads is but, fine if anyone else is doing them they're yeah. terrible they're just not good Chuck Chuck just makes them fun you know he puts he's his, in 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 general like I don't know who that dude is other than from that podcast um I'm he, assuming he's a DJ he, no this he's a, he's no sounds. he's a uh, he's a comedian oh okay and if you were to see his face you would probably recognize him. Like, I didn't know who he was either, but I had definitely seen his face. I know I've seen him in shows. From... Does he have dreadlocks? No. Okay. He sounds like he has dreadlocks. No. <laughs> I mean, he's, such a, he's such a nice and chill fucking dude. Yeah. Like, his voice is just it's relaxing as hell, man. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, the way he does ads, I like the way he does ads. Because he makes them, he, he draws you in and makes them fun. And... Tell him Steve Dave they do good ads. Like, Bri has a, yeah. his, I guess, his sister, I believe. Uh, she is not a good person and <laughs> she has problems <laughs> or whatever. And she had a daughter who, uh, was born with down syndrome mm-hmm. and, and Bri basically adopted her and, uh, oh, she's basically his daughter and he just yeah. does, he just runs ads with her, with Sage. Aww. So it's fucking adorable and it's yeah. just Bri being Bri. 
<laughs> well, that's kind of nice. Yeah, it's cool. Um, some of the podcasts I check out, well, I haven't listened to some of them in a while. Uh, Dan Carlin's hit Hardcore History. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I got a buddy who listens to yeah. that. He highly recommends it. I really need to go back and get the rest of it because for some reason on Google Play, only like the last 50 episodes are on there. Right. Uh, and it takes him a while to release a new one, like months. Because he aren't they does, like, aren't they like four hours, four long? to five hours long? Yeah, because yeah. he does a shit ton of up. history. Yeah, wow. it's a, it's in depth. He goes through the different historians, like the books he's read, read on the topic. Mm-hmm. Um, gives like different points of view on the same historical um, event and stuff. Right, and uh, I, I picked up and started at the same time I was playing Battlefield One. Listening to him talk about World War One, man, and you all the should, history. Uh, of it. You should subscribe to Collins Last Stand. He's a history I need to check nut that out too. Yeah. He just, I was, he I just talks about and politics and history. history. Yeah, but it's it's it was not to cut you off. Fucking awesome, I was though. But uh, yeah. his his World War One, like four episodes, I think I broke it into. Right, every front of the war, like the beginning to the end of the war, what led up to it. You know the events afterwards. Fucking amazing. Right, yeah. I mean, um, that sounds good. Like, even, like, it's his, historical things I never had heard of at all. And and uh, it's one thing we kind of forget is how long history is right. in the human race. <laughs> right. Um, there's less time between, like, like the amount of time it took from us to go from black powder to now uh, is so infinitesimal when you compare it to when we went yeah, from, no, like, the, bronze not even to the fucking of an steel. Eye. Yeah. Like, yeah. There, you're talking thousands of years. Compared to a few hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, it's, it's mind-boggling the amount of, of advancement we've made. And you go back <laughs> to those older times, and uh, there's so much shit that happened that's absolutely bad shit. Yeah. And it's it's some cool points of history to listen to. Yeah, I but, think uh, if... if, if... I think if for whatever reason you could be frozen today and wake up in a hundred years, things would be holy shit. Oh, different. I mean, yeah, yeah. With, in just a hundred years than they are right with now. The, with the way things are are no more uh, gas stations and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yeah, no, like with the way we're going now, the path we're currently on, if we can avoid um, having petty squabbles kill us Seriously, all. Seriously, like, um, did you see that? Did you see that Reddit post where Kim Jong Un is like? If we don't get provoked or whatever, I just thought this was really, like, entertain, like, interesting and ridiculous. He's like, if we don't get provoked or attacked, then we we won't uh, bother anybody else, basically. And then I saw a post recently where Donald fucking Trump, and I don't give a shit about anything, so don't get offended. I, uh, Donald Trump it is like, matter he's like, do you want to compare? Do you want to compare compare <laughs> buttons or whatever? Yeah, I, I bet mine the... is bigger oh or whatever. Like, are you fucking you turn... kidding me? You okay, t- okay, that's okay. if the world isn't ended in a hundred yeah, years that's, because that, of this that's, that's, fucking that's, shit. That's what I'm saying. Let's not let's oh not get God, let's not get into that. Guy. That is a very touchy subject. Um, like, are you? I don't care if it's touchy. You just turn nuclear apocalypse into a dick a joke. Dick measuring. Like you both, your dicks are tiny. Shut up. I mean, but anyway, if, if dick size were relevant to hand size, uh, <laughs> anyway, no, 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 said no. that's why the button looks big, and that's <laughs> all I'm going to say more. Yeah, yeah. I loved that. Anyway, comment. anyway, because you know, like, like, like we've said, I'm huge tech, huge into tech, mm-hmm. and you know, I grew up, I grew up in with the internet, you know, so I, I grew up with that. So, like, I come from the era of tape drives, floppy disks, and shit like that, cause, and now we're to a point, you know. Where everything's getting smaller, everything's getting more powerful. So Ron's like, you know, you wake up in a hundred years. Yeah, in a hundred years, we're gonna have like fucking flying cars and interstellar space travel. Yeah. I, oh, I can't. I oh, fuck. I, like, I wish I'd be there to see. Like, that. we're talking about going to Mars now, and that's gonna happen within the next five years. You give us another twenty years beyond that, we're gonna be outside of the fucking Milky Way. Yeah, and the space race is heating up again. Like that. That's the kind sort of, of. That's the kind well, of technological yeah, I mean, advancement that we're on right a, now. There's a pulse again. Anyways. If we can, uh, if we can fucking sit there and avoid annihilating each if other, we can make it. Yeah, I love. There was a, a viral image that was going around about the whole Disney thing where they bought Fox, uh, and it said like twenty uh, twenty twenty Disney buys uh, something else like ABC or, or not ABC. I'm sorry, Disney buys like. Um, 
the like the U.S. government, like twenty twenty five, blah blah. It's I, like twenty thirty. There's wars. Twenty uh, twenty forty five. Disney has control of the entire world. And then by like twenty fifty, we have uh, or, or twenty seventy five, we have a Dyson sphere like technology. You know We've yeah. entered into what is that? A level five? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking civilization it's like yeah if we make it that far that fast fine let disney take over the world if that if that's what that means i in a dyson sphere by i for one welcome our mousy overlords if that's Jesus. what that means you know like for those who don't know what a dyson sphere is it is a construction around a star yeah. where we can tap that star's power for as long as that star burns. And stars burn for millions of years. And they're fucking huge. They are massive. You want to think of the largest buildings that we've ever built. Think of the largest structures that us as humans right now have ever built. And then realize that on the order of magnitude of a Dyson sphere, it's like literally comparing a little bead from a beanbag chair to a beach ball blown up two times its size. We would have to get to like a Star even, Trek like future or something like that almost. where where like uh, all countries are working together and there's universal oh, currency yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and universal pay and all that shit in order to get to a future like that. Like there's too much squabble and, and, and differences That's why I love going the, on. Uh, humans, humans right now are too petty. We're too unadvanced. Worried about a stupid piece of paper. We need a Mass Effect. We need to find... Uh, for, for we need to go to Mars and we need to find uh, a fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, or a gateway to hell. I'm not sure. Either one. One of them. Something yeah, will happen. Let's exploit all the uh, Argent energy. You yeah. Know? Like, like, let's have the plot of Doom <laughs> unfold. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. We'd fucking deserve it. That's that's the thing with all of the different sci-fis is something happens because they know we're shit. So something has to happen to make us not shit and then we can go into the stars. Uh, I, I, I feel like that's so far away. And though. bomb the giant blue cat people. <laughs> <laughs> our our legacy is to go out, fuck the stars, and then destroy everything. Yep. All right. So some more YouTube content. Um, Humanity, fuck yeah. That that I, I know Luke and I both watch. Yeah. Uh, Philly D. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of the bigger creators. Um, Both his, his daily, well, his three weekly vlogs. And then, of course, the weekday show. Mm-hmm. Which you know, that's actually how I I kind of stay on top of, of some news topics that way, because he covers uh, things in pretty good detail that you just don't you're not gonna get from. I don't even want to I don't want to say mainstream media because it sounds so hipstery. Yeah, but that's what it's become these days. Mainstream media shows you what they want you to see, and they don't they don't seem to care about issues that are actually important at times it's not only they show you what you want to see what, what they want you to what see. they want you to see they only want to show you what is going to get the most people yeah to view them so whether I mean, a story is important or not they it's like well is it going to get views no then we're going to put the story about whatever the fuck else we're it's like talk like about. cnn tracking the malaysian flight for fucking a week straight yeah oh, or the um uh um, Ebola actually, epidemic. i'm sorry I'm sorry, they cover that for like, they, they milked that for like, what, a month? A month, something like that. Two months, something, yeah, something, it's like, why? I track the stupidest shit, like, I've seen pictures that are, they're, they might as well be memes of the headlines of what they're reporting on on Fox or CNN, and it's like, what, what the, is there nothing fucking else for you to talk about? Like, are you going to mention all the un- fucking unrest and shit that's going on in the world? Yeah, like, like, are we completely ignoring the protests in Iran so that you yeah. can sit there and, and talk about, uh, I don't know, dick-waving contests? Uh, what fucking, I, I feel like shit because I can't remember the name, but what country in South America just had a... Oh, you're talking about Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela had a yeah. fucking complete revolution and Well, they're in the middle or, of one. Yeah. Um they're not they're not doing it yet, but the government like they the they huge crackdown. They um it. they sat there, they reworked their their currency, they're having extreme hyperinflation issues mm-hmm. like with the uh the problem like they had in Zimbabwe where, you know, you want to go shopping for like shoes, you'd bring a wheelbarrow full of money because you because the Zimbabwean dollar was worth so little. Yeah, you needed trillions of dollars to buy like a fruit. Yeah, like it, it's it's insane, and you got that same kind of issue rising up in Venezuela right now, mm. and 
no one's paying it any attention. You got you got huge protests over in Iran because of corruption in their government and just they're they're tired of of living in the squalor that they are. It's like this is not okay. They're tired of the religious rule over there too. And the fact that um, yeah, like like, like if you if the, you have like a imam state, has more power than the prime minister. Or the prime minister is an imam, if I'm correct. I, I know there's He's, two. There's the, two the prime minister or their president or their king or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's a president. He is a religious leader. No, there's two. I know there's two different leaders. No, no, is what no, they're no, pissed no, off about. No, no, no. no. He, he's a religious nah, leader. I don't know. I don't remember, but I, I just know they're pissed about the religious leader and their other leaders aren't doing jack shit to help like, them. Like, they're to a point um, where Iran has actually shut off internet access to yeah. like, things like Telegram so that they can't organize things. Which is the same thing Egypt did and yeah. other countries when they started having you know these problems. Because the, what's the first thing you do is you try and stop people's communication yeah. so they can't organize anymore. And well, first you shut off their uh, link to any type of outside news. Oh, well, yeah, of course, because you don't want them seeing people doing well. Yeah. Because you want to continue you doing well and not giving a shit about them. You also want to lie to them and tell them that everything's fine. And Right, right, right. And everything is decidedly not fine. Yeah. So, like, Philly D will, will cover those stories. He will he will bring that stuff to light. He will bring these these more... Maybe not necessarily as important stories, but things that just get overlooked because people, oh, they're not view worthy, like you said. Yeah, oh yeah. And so you know, and and to me that that means something. That that's valuable. That's an, that's something I've always. That's the way news used to be. Mm-hmm. You know, twenty years ago, growing up, that's the way it was. It they covered things that might have been uncomfortable. They covered things that people might not have agreed with. They were unbiased, and now. Now there's I mean some... that's the news has always had some bias to say they're unbiased. Uh, you go back and you always have terrible examples of shit in the news. Right. Nowadays I think it's part of those who want to discredit the news. Well, put this blanket watches the news, I have no idea. Yeah. They put you this blanket on what how awful is, is going on in the world. Turn on the fucking news. Yeah. Watch well, it. that's what sells. That shit. Watch the Yeah, well. Not to me. Not, well, not that's the thing, though. It's like they're not even showing all the bad stuff in the world. They're only showing you the stuff that they think is bad. Th- they so they're not paying attention to, to these these actual things that are happening. So, And for me, that's just... I will on. give them credit, though. 20 years ago, we wouldn't hear about that stuff, period. Um, you wouldn't have heard about it in the news. You wouldn't have heard about it for months and months. And then maybe they talk about, oh, hey, yeah. Uh, over in like Somalia, they just had this massacre, and there's a new king over there. Oh, when that happened? About six months ago. And you're just now telling us, yeah. yes, because so unless, they had no ability to spread the word about that kind of I stuff. I mean, yeah, unless the you were now, unless you were like you know part of the Associated Press. There's too much to report on. Yeah, is one thing that people kind of I think forget when they when you you know you blame everybody about not reporting things. Yeah, I, there's there's a 24 hour news cycle. And our entire planet is connected now. I get you. There's no possibility to get everything out there. Oh, and I'm no, not no. saying – I'm not trying to excuse it. No, I, I but, am. But that, that just – for me, that just rolls back to the point yeah. when CNN spent a month covering exactly, a fucking plane exactly. crash. Some, it's, like, like, it's like, wait. Okay, the plane is missing. We know. Are you looking for it? Yeah. Then you don't need to tell us anything else about it. Did you have find they found it? it? No. Have they found any evidence that where it went down? No. Okay, then why are you still talking the about it? The whole Ebola thing where they're talking about these people. Okay, so you, you know the three people that were there? Yeah. Oh, they got it? Uh-huh. Are they well now? No. Then shut the fuck up and move on to something else. Have they been cured? No. Okay, well, tell us we when they're cured. We had Ebola cure for fucking, like, years, right? Like, it's um, never been... Not, not... Not a cure, but, like, we a... could treat it. Uh, There's a reason it hasn't spread so huge. Well, it hasn't spread so huge because it is severely concentrated in like yeah. one one like part one of the specific world. region. But uh, I mean, I don't. I, it was you know stupid. What? I'm it just was gonna, stupid. I'm, yeah, we need to we need to move on. So another YouTuber, and this is one we all pay attention to, is Jim Sterling. Yeah, Jim yeah. fucking Sterling. Yeah. son. thank Jim God for Sterling. thank God thank God for Jim. Um. And, and a lot of the things that we do, we actually do draw some inspiration from from Jim Sterling. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, he's that he's fun. Look at any of our titles, <laughs> pretty yeah. much. The yeah. podcast, his podcast titles are also pretty fucked up. 
Yeah, some of them. I mean, there are. Uh, I, okay, so months ago I started to upload older episodes. I haven't made them available yet because it's still a major work in progress. But I started uploading older episodes to YouTube in the same format that I upload them now. And uh, like, there were, there were titles in our earlier earlier episodes that are so long. YouTube's like, dude, no. <laughs> That comes from him. <laughs> yeah, that come that come, that 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 draws inspiration from uh, like Jim Sterling and some some music bands like A Day to Remember, where they have song titles that have nothing to do with the song. Yeah, and I I like it when when I like those kinds of juxtapositions. Um, I've toned myself way down since then, so I don't make as many stupid titles. But uh, I like dumb titles. Um, when they're too long, though. <clears throat> Greatest, yeah, but. I know, and that that's why I I just I've started to look more for the ridiculous rather than the overly long. Yeah. But yeah, Jim Sterling, you know, I I watch Jim Pressions all the time. I um, Jim Pressions, I don't watch as much, um, where he's just playing the game. Yeah, uh, when it's a bad game, I'll check I'm, those out. I'm sorry, no, I watch Jim Quisition, not Jim, Jim, not Jim yeah, Pressions. Yeah. Jim you said that earlier. Yeah. yeah, I figured I, I I like the inqu- the Jim Quisition, it's. I don't know why I never saw it before. Maybe I just never, I, I guess I never had heard about him. Mm-hmm. And then uh, something caused me to check out one episode. Yeah. I think it was Doom. I, right. It might have been the Doom Guy episode. And I was like, this is this is the best video game related like program that I've seen, period. I, it's I, funny. It's right. It's It was great. And then, of course, he has the Jim Quisition podcast, which I know you yeah. guys listen to. And I mean, that's a lot of fun for you guys. I like I listen to it today too, and it's funny. Right. Um, we've mentioned it before the fact that he's got Gav from um, Miracle, Miracle of Sound, of Sound, which is another YouTube channel you should check out. Oh yeah, yeah for fucking sure. amazing! He, he's just an amazing. That song man writer. is so fucking talented. Yeah, he's got videos where the, you see this unassuming Irish guy with long brown hair. He does not look. But then click on one of the videos where he starts singing, and he sounds his this voice son of a nothing like is, his singing yeah, voice. <laughs> this, this son of a bitch is insanely talented. Yeah. This dude can sing like he knows music really well. And Laura Dale, and of, uh, who's just a general journalist, all of his on there. his songs are video game centric and yeah. stuff like that. So definitely, but uh, but yeah, well, I, I, when it comes to Jim Sterling, like I had never actually heard of him. Like that, that was I, one of those things where I've spent so much I time on the internet. I think he was a meme on uh, the video game board on 4chan, but I didn't really Laura, pay much attention I fucking, back in the day. I tolerate Laura because yes. she's there with Jim and Gav. Like, I think she's so annoying. I want to like her, her but she annoys me so bad. She's just like... Gavin! Hey, she's just like this... <laughs> no, this, Luke, she's please this, don't. Anything... She's just a whatever she likes sympathizer. Like, it could be a shit game, but if she likes it, she'll be like, that's fair. But it's it's this this and this. Oh and this, yeah, and yeah. This, the defending this, of his stuff like, that she likes. They it's talked about a, any Nintendo game that comes out. She is just insane oh, for Nintendo. Oh, the fact that they you better got believe into trolling be her, her over Breath of the Wild. They was started great. to troll her. It got so bad over Breath of over Breath Seven of the Wild. Seven out of ten. <laughs> Seven out of ten. You know what? I'm I'm over that completely. Like I now it's a thing. Like we can disagree with each other and not and not be at each other's throats and blah blah blah. But uh, but. I, like like back to my point, yeah, I have man. never I'd never heard of him until you guys mentioned him. You do yeah. a really good Laura K. Dale ga- <laughs> like Gavin. <laughs> like do that one word. <laughs> yeah. Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> but yeah, like I never oh, Jim. I'd never even heard of him until you guys said something oh, and then I just started watching him. One of the more so. awkward moments I ever remember was like I feel like she would one hundred percent fuck Gav if given the opportunity. Like and she wants to fuck Gav I really don't know. bad. Yeah, maybe and she made a really like sexual uh, sexual fucking you know, like uh, uh, you know, insinuative like like impress impression like uh, like gave the impression that she really wanted the him to fucking come overseas so she could she does fuck it with him. Jim all the time she does it with Jim too and, and they no sell it they're like well yeah Jim moving, will usually like humor on. it but there's, <laughs> there's one time where she silence. says something and it comes off like honest yeah. and Jim's like. Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, like, uh, there's this really awkward tension whenever oh, she man. gets that way she's trans by the way which adds to her character not that there's anything wrong with that respect the fuck out of that but i mean it just adds to the you the, the oddness and uniqueness of her character yeah 
which it's, I, I her don't know. series of uh, one thing she does do that's actually really fucking funny outside of that is if you go and check her asses of the year list she does. Oh yeah, video games, yeah, that was those that, are actually really great that articles. Actually went viral, yeah. Yeah, I, I love. I, mean, I checked it out. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, of course you did. <laughs> I mean, hey, video game asses, right? Wrong. Yeah, you know. I mean, appreciate them all. It, it's like that meme with uh, with with Nintendo in the earlier Switch days, yeah. like. You know, they're asking the president uh, or the, the guy, how are you going to get Nintendo back on top? And then it's just four <laughs> screenshots of different video game asses of Nintendo yeah, characters. It's really tasteless. And like, he, he's, a guy, he's got his hands up like the guy from the Aliens yeah, uh, thing. You know, aliens. booties. Yeah, <laughs> ancient aliens. It's like, It'd yeah, be really, booties. like, tasteless. Here's a, here's a throwaway idea. We could revive the 10 list, like, video game characters. Like, would you or wouldn't you or fucking... Ten, top 10, ten video game characters The top 10 most would. bangable video game characters. <laughs> You know what? Uh, for Joe, it's just it's just Yennefer, all all ten are Yennefer. <laughs> Why? Yennefer. I don't know. You've always seemed like you've had a thing for Yennefer. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, even yeah, though sure. even though I've always talked to Triss up, Triss up way more than Yennefer. I've always, I've always no, taken his I'm a redhead guy. guy. I don't know why. That's what I because I'm you always, always said, a Triss guy. Oh no, 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 you said Geralt should be with Yennefer. Yeah, because like, oh, no, no, I just, I made one singular statement where oh. it was canon that Geralt and Yen were together. Oh no, I, that, that's all that was. Like it was like you played the game; it's pushing you that way. But you don't have to. You don't have to go that way. At See, all. I didn't. I Honestly, felt like she was a cunt, and the game was trying to tell me how much of a cunt she was. See, my perspective <laughs> on here's how, it. like, your how you, I figured your standpoint. It made me look at her in a different light. I'm like, well, well, no, it was just it was just maybe a matter I am of, wrong about her. It was just a matter <laughs> of like 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 all right. When I first played the game and I first started messing with the with the Witcher subreddit, they like they go into both the books and the game. Yeah. So it's like. The books in the game are, are a lot different. Like there's mm-hmm. there's source material and they use a lot of it, but like temperaments, it's different. And in the in the in the game, uh, you know, Triss is sweet and nice, and you want to fuck the shit out of her. In like, and then in, in the Man, course, nah, I want that future star. Like I just, I'm a, I want that fucking little like shitty little shack in the little fence. I'm like, yeah, girl, do but that. it's like, but it's like. Don't Yen, me a tally in, in the game, Yen is <laughs> yeah, Yen is made out to be a cunt. My one and yeah, she's yeah. she she's a bit bitchy, but you look at like the in depth, the more in depth stuff in the books is like Yen is the only one in the Sorcerer's Lodge who actually fucking cares about Siri. Mm-hmm. She's the only one. I do one. get that impression. Yeah, yeah see, and th- she that, cares about Siri. So Siri, care, you know, Siri is like the central character in the, in the games. Like she is the most important character, at least in The Witcher Three. As like, you say, it like might she be, didn't exist in the first. Okay, two. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and you know it might be Geralt's story, but it's yeah. about Siri. No, yeah, it's Siri. Yeah, yeah and mm-hmm. so it's like like in the in the games or in the books rather, Siri. You know, obviously she has her unique powers. Well. Everyone in the Sorcerer's Lodge wants to fucking take advantage of those and use those powers. Mm-hmm. And when it comes down to, to act that actually happening in the books, Jennifer is the only one like, listen, you're not going to be doing this. And Triss is just standing over on the side being a, a silent, you know, like cunt, not, not saying anything, just kind of going along with what everyone knows in the Sorcerer's Lodge is saying. So from that perspective, it's like that's the only reason why – in that perspective, from that one perspective, I could ever choose Yen over Triss. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because well, I mean, in, in, in the and game, not to mention in off, the first two games, really especially the first game, Triss completely takes advantage of Geralt's, you know, uh, vulnerability of him having amnesia. Yeah, so, I, I mean, played the first one. So, I mean, you look at it from that perspective, like, she knew that there was things between her or Geralt and Yen, but she manipulates Geralt. In like the first two games, mm. and takes advantage of that. So it's like that's the only perspective. But like, if you look at just The Witcher Three standalone, um, and with all of his expansions, honestly, I, I'd probably be for um, fuck, I can't remember her name, but you 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 meet her in Hearts of Stone. She's just an adorable little redhead. I've yet to play oh. that. One. Yeah, so I mean, I can't, I can't remember her name, but she has history with Geralt already. So, speaking Jesus. of uh, callback to your guys's pod last week, speaking of things looking forward and to in twenty eighteen is mm-hmm. the Netflix Witcher series, which yeah. is supposed to come out this year, I believe, mm-hmm. but I doubt it will. But hopefully, it does. That's the, that's the number just... one thing I'm most looking forward to. Is you know you know, you got your Infinity Wars and stuff like that. That's awesome. But man, just give me 
a ten episode hour e- hour long episode each. Hour Is it going to be live episode. action or animated? Dude, it's, it's, it's live, live action. action. Okay. Yeah, and it's you know, I'd be fine with animated Witcher. Or so. Oh yeah, yeah. I want the Castlevania thing to come back. Oh, I gotta watch that stuff. I added it to my list last time. I'm like, oh yeah, it's got, things it's I missed when I was like, out of the loop. It's only like four episodes, right? Yeah, it's short. Okay, they they like they. I think they planned on putting the second part of it out much faster, mm. but uh, it, I don't know for some reason they got a lot of shit going on at Netflix, so I can't fault them too much that it's short, but it's fucking awesome. All right, well yeah. we're gonna go ahead and wind it down because we just broke the hour mark. Yay! Yeah. Fucking hour. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Woo. for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. And I'm Ron. You guys have a good day. Peace. Fuck Konami. Yep. <laughs>